Hello guys, this is Engineer Leo Ramos of College of Engineering and Computer Technology of Wesleyan University, Philippines. Today, we're going to discuss a series of communication systems, laboratories, and experiments. Welcome back again to another communication system laboratory experiment series. And today, we're going to discuss one of the important process that is used and done at the transmitter part and the receiver side of the communication circuit, which is the signal amplification. And for this experiment and laboratory, we're going to use this typical setup. We have again the calibrated digital oscilloscope and we're going to utilize again our DiLorenzo DL3155M60 analog signal transmission module. Specifically, we're going to use our module F for the tone generator and our module D for our general purpose amplifier. On this particular experiment, we're going to show that the signal will be uh, amplified with respect to a reference signal level that is given at it. To perform this laboratory, we need to connect our connecting wires to the output of module F to the input of module D. Let's do this. So using this jumper cable, connect our output of our module F, okay, which is the tone generator, to the input of module T, which is the general purpose amplifier. Okay. And using our channel 1 logic probe, we're going to connect this at the output of our module F. And put the ground for safety. And the output of our general purpose amplifier will be connected to the logic probe channel 2. Again, put the output at the general purpose amplifier module or the module D and connect the ground. So any ground will do because this ground is connected in every circuits. Okay, so that is the typical setup, and now we're going to verify the output of the amplification. Again, power on this DiLorenzo trainer. Okay, to see the output waveform, let's push this auto set button. And you can see here the result. So this channel one measures an amplitude of 2.3 volts at the frequency of 4.74 kilohertz and take note our output which is the channel 2 probe the reading now is 28 volts and has the same frequency so as you can see here from 2.3 volts it becomes a 28 volts it means to say that our signal is being amplified oh my god wow so regardless of the waveform this value shows that the signal is already amplified from 2.3 volts to 28 volts. And to generate the report, usually the student will write this uh, result. But using this particular oscilloscope, we can generate a report. Just the student will take the photo that we'll be using in the laboratory output uh, report. So you just press the F5 and press the parameters for channel 1. Okay, so we can see here that the frequency is the same, that is 4.74 kHz, and the peak amplitude is 2.36 volts. Other parameters of the signals is being included on this particular measurement. So the student will just take the photo and use this as reference for the report. And also, if you want to get the value of our channel 2, you just press our F2 button here, and you will see again the parameters of that particular signals. Yeah. 
So that is how you perform the signal amplification process using this particular modules. For more educational videos regarding communication system, please like, subscribe, and share this channel.